All right, next for CSP, there's paired edges. So the thing about these, that's pretty cool, like kite. And a few other cases is that any position you trace them from is the same. So we can trace them from here, 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 doesn't really matter. And you'll get the same trace. So the rest of these cases are pretty easy. So I'll go through them relatively quickly. So first off, I guess there's the six edges together and then the paired edge. So top trace from here to here, bottom can be traced from anywhere. For even pair, you just hold all six in the back like this and have the two separated. And you can bring this down and you have scalp scalp. For odd parity, you're going to have to bring the two on the left and just have some from there. For the mirror, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to use the this position as a reference. So even parity, going to hold the two to the left. Before it was in the right, but that's the mirror. So on the left, and you slice and do scalp scalp like this. For odd parity, you're going to hold the two to the right. Of course, the six in the back, two to the right. You're gonna misalign this and you're gonna do scalp scalp like this. So next is this case, there's four edges and then two edges, and of course, two on the bottom. There's this case and then there's this case. It's mirror, so this is how we differentiate them. If you hold the four here in the front left, the two would be in the back. But in the other case, if you hold up the four here in the front left, um, this would be in the center right. So that's how I differentiate them. So first I'm gonna go over the one of two in the back. So tracing will be from here to here. Bottom is obviously anywhere. And for even parity, you're gonna bring these two across from these two and where you form a shield and you got shield shield. For odd parity, you're going to connect these two and make scallop scallop and just solve it like that. For the mirror, it's exactly the same thing. For even parity, you're going to get them into shield shield and solve it like that. Odd parity, you're going to get them into scallop scallop. For the mirrors, they're very similar. Traced here to here, the bottom's the same. And for even parity, you're going to do the exact opposite from the mirror. So even parity, you would get scallop scallop. For odd parity, here's where you would get to shield shield. Mirror, even parity, again, same exact thing. Scallop scallop. Odd parity, you get it into shield. Something like this. So here's the next CSV case. You have two, two, and two. And then two on the bottom, of course. Tracing is like here, and then bottom the same. So for this one, even parity, you're gonna hold uh, two to the left side, and you're going to hold these two to the left, and the one center one to the right. For even parity, you have this, slice, go straight into shield, shield. For odd parity, you're gonna hold this and put it towards the back like this. Still on the left side of the puzzle, but on the back. Slice, shield, shield. For the mirror, you're gonna use that as a reference. So, we're gonna hold it the same way. So, even parity, you're gonna hold it like this. And then slice or shield, shield. You're kind of holding this one in front and this on the left. In the center of the left and here front back these two that's even parity and slice shield shield for odd parity you're gonna put it towards the back keep on the right side but towards the back slice and then do shield shield all right so next is this case tracing from here to here bombs the same for even parity i'll just bring these two down and get pawn pawn holding uh this chunk here and bringing these, this L down to make pon pon. Uh, for odd parity, I would bring these two instead of these two. I'll bring these two together with the two to make pon pon. For the mirror, it's the exact same thing. Even parity, I'll bring these two together with this to make the pon pon. But for odd parity, I'm gonna bring these two to make the pon pon. So next is this case, tracing from here to here. Bottom's the same. For even parity, it's just one slice of scalp kite. So it's pretty simple, odd parity. It's a bit different. Uh, I wanna kind of hold the two opposite from the four to make this case. And then go one more slice and then make the scalp kite. So the odd parity is the bad one. So for the mirror, it's the same thing. Even parity is just the one slice. All I parity, I'm gonna have to 
do an extra slice to realign it, and then get scalp light. So here's the mirror, here's how I differentiate them. If I hold the big block in front, if it's on the right, I would do the previous case, but if I hold the big block in front and it's on the left, I would do this case. So this case is the mirror and it's reversed, so do the opposite of before. So for odd parity, one slice to scalp kite. Even parity, uh, do the extra slice to get the scalp kite. Same thing for the mirror. For even parity, one slice scalp kite. Odd parity, I'm gonna have to do the extra slice to get the scalp kite. All right, so next is this case. There's three edges, three edges. Start from here, trace around to here. Bottom's the same. For even parity, uh, I'm going to hold it like this. So I'm going to have the opposite on the left and the two in the front. One slice. And if you get this familiar case, it's just a uh, shield and a mushroom. It's, you can do one slice to scalp kite, or you can do one slice to um, kite. Barrel, I think. So you can do this to get it here, or you can do this to get the scalp kite. For odd parity, though, you're gonna have to put these two in the back, like this, still on the right side of the slice, but on the back, and you get this exact same case. You can just do it however you want, and yeah. For the mirror, the exact same thing. Even parity, you're gonna hold the two in the front, and can solve it like normal. Odd pair, you're gonna have to hold these two in the back and solve it like that. Next is this case. This is kind of weird. There's three and then two and then one. For this case, eliminate the two and think of it as right pawn kind of. So for the right pawn case, you have to trace it from here, here to here. Bottom's the same. For even parity, you're gonna hold it like this. You can have a pawn thing, kind of like an L, and you can just connect it like this, and you can get one move to scalp kite, connect these two Ls, make a kite, scalp kite. For odd parity, however, hold it the exact same way, and hold the two in the center, not in the back, but in the center. From here, you would have these two and these two, these Ls, and you'll put them across each other like this, with two slices, so again like this, and you get these two on the bottom, and you get square shield. For the mirror, it's the exact same thing. One slice to get it to here, and then it's bring the L's together, and it's got play. For odd parity, you're going to hold the bottom the exact same way, but we're going to hold the two on the side in the middle, in the same slice as the L, and you can kind of maneuver these around to make the shield and you get square shield for odd parity. So lastly, there's this case. If you eliminate the two, you get left pawn. So it's not the right pawn, like before, but left pawn. For this case, it's done exactly the same way. You're gonna trace it here to here. And it's gonna be the exact opposite of before. Even parity. You can hold it to the side and then do two slice into square shield. For odd parity, Hold it in front, one slice into here, and another slice into um scalp height. So mirrors are the exact same thing. Even parity. You're going to get it into square shield. Odd parity, you're gonna hold it like this. And you can get it into scalp height. So that's pretty much it for the two cases.